good morning students today we'll start with the another important topic refraction through spherical lenses but before we go to the topic let me welcome you all and i hope you are staying safe at your home you are enjoying the online classes students take a proper advantage of this time and don't let your studies lag behind right because this year is very crucial for you right so now you keep your pens books and notebooks ready we'll start with our lecture that is the refraction through spherical lenses now before we start with the lecture we should know what is spherical lens okay so a spherical lens is basically a transparent material and it will have two surfaces either one of them could be spherical or both of them could be spherical okay so three important points one it is a transparent material second it has two surfaces and third the three points third is one or both of which are spherical so transparent medium it is made with this transparent material it has two surfaces and third one or both both the surfaces are spherical so three important points suppose have you seen somebody wearing the glasses yes so that is the lens this is a transparent okay जिन लोगों को प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है जिनकी आई साइट में दिक्कत हो जाती है वो चश्मा लगाते हैं तो चश्मे में जो मटेरियल है जो ग्लास लाइक मटेरियल है दैट इज अ लेंस ओके सो यू हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्फेरिकल लेंसेस वन इज कॉन्वेक्स अनदर इज कॉन्केव इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव डन इन केस ऑफ मिरर ऑल्सो मिरर ऑल्सो टू टाइप्स वन इज कॉन्केव अनदर इज कॉन्वेक्स सिमिलरली इन लेंसेज ऑल्सो we have two types of lenses that is convex and concave we'll see what is convex lens and what is concave lens so i've drawn the diagram you have a convex lens you have concave lens okay two types of lenses now if you look at the diagram of the convex lens convex lens is thick in the center thick means ye beech se mota hota hai and it is thinner at the edges okay so your convex lens is thick in the center it is thick at center right and it is thinner at the corners concave lens is reverse it is thinner at the center okay it is thinner at the center ye center se patla hai and corner se mota hai okay so concave lens is thicker thinner in the center and thicker at the corners okay aapka convex lens beech mein se mota hota hai yahan se aur corners par se patla hota hai concave lens corners par se mota hota hai और सेंटर से पतला होता है राइट एवरीवन? लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट वन सो विल डिफाइन कॉन्वेक्स लेंस दिस लेंस हैज टू स्फेरिकल लेंस सर्फेस बल्जिंग आउटवर्ड ओके इट इज बल्जिंग आउटवर्ड ओके सो इट इज थिकर इन द मिडल देन द एजेस सो बीच से मोटा है कॉर्नर से पतला है and this this lens is also called as converging lens this lens is also called as converging lens because when parallel rays are coming after passing through the lens they will come at a single point you can see in this diagram also rays are coming and they are collecting or they are being concentrated at a point matlab iska kya meaning hota hai कि रेज अलग अलग डायरेक्शन से आ रही हैं 
और जब वो लेंस से पास हो जाती हैं तो लेंस से पास होने के बाद वो सारी ऑल द रेस वो एक पर्टिकुलर जगह पर इकट्ठी हो जाती हैं दे कन्वर्ज एट अ पॉइंट एंड दैट इज वाई दिस लेंस इज कॉल्ड अ कन्वर्जिंग लेंस ओके सो कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज योर कन्वर्जिंग लेंस राइट कन्वर्जिंग लेंस क्लियर शेल वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ओके कॉन्केव लेंस just now we have discussed in the diagram concave lens means it will have two spherical surfaces okay and they are curved inside it is thicker at the edges and thinner in the center ek aisa lens jiske do spherical surface hain corner par mota hai center mein se patla hai right and this lens is called diverging lens also this lens is called diverging lens why we call it as diverging lens when rays are coming okay rays are coming when parallel rays are coming after refraction they go to different directions see this ray is coming it is going in this direction it is going away this ray is coming it is going away right so it this area has increased okay there we have a less area here you have more area so it spreads the light okay so that is why it it you can say it spreads light it diverges the light and that is why this lens is called diverging lens what we call it as diverging lens very good so your homework is you will make notes of this topic and you will read the page number 176 okay dear students you will read the page number 176 you will highlight the points okay you will underline the important points on the page you will try to make one word questions from this page right you will underline the diagrams also and then you will send your homework to me okay and all don't forget write date on every page and use blue sketch pen okay dear students and be very very particular about your classes your all teachers they are working very hard to teach you while you are at home okay students enjoy your day and goodbye everyone